So I had this interesting interaction today on Twitch where someone effectively asked me this question where they said, hey, companies are looking for all these technologies and they also require algos and data structures. Do you think this is fair? Now, this might be a bit of a hot take, especially in today's world. No, I don't think it's fair, but at the exact same time, life is not fair. So you're gonna have to figure some of these things out. Now, are all these technologies a requirement at every company? No. Are technologies that companies list as their requirements a requirement? Often, no. It's just like a wish list. People just put all this crap on these resumes and eventually someone hits most markers and they say, hey, that's good enough. But what can you do with these wish lists? What can you do with these qualifications? Well, you can use those as stepping stones to get the job you want. Now, yes, they may interview you with some algorithms and data structures. Do I think that's the best way to interview someone? No. But should you know about them? Yes, just learn them. If you know that's the handshake to get into a company that you want to work at, just spend a couple weeks in your own time learning them. It's not that hard. And the more time you put into it, the easier they get. And when I say it's not that hard, yes, the concepts, they are initially hard. But like everything in the world, you put time and effort into it, it gets easier. And so yes, you can sit around and say, oh, these things aren't fair. They're not right. Oh, I think interviews are broken, blah, 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 blah. Or you can realize you are being handed the exact checklist you need to be able to dunk on an interview for a company that's going to pay you six-figure salary. So just do it. And that's kind of the mentality I took into it is that I just didn't care, right? I just don't have to think of the justice or injustice to the whole situation. Instead, I can just go, okay, I am going to figure out what they want and I'm going to crush what they want. So of course, this guy responds with, it's impossible to learn everything and have experience with everything. And I do agree. There is not enough time of the day to explore everything, but a little bit of hard work and some time, you can explore a lot of things. You can knock out basic understanding of Docker and all this infrastructure uh, requirements for DevOps in just a couple weeks of practice and really getting after it. You will become able to at least talk about it. And most jobs don't need to hire the best person ever. They're looking for someone that has the language and understanding to be able to Google and build the solution for them. You don't need to be the best, but you need to just simply understand how it's used, the trade-offs for different versions of these things, and what you should be doing. So yes, you can actually have experience with quite a few things if you use your time effectively. Please, if you're looking for a job, you're on your first job, you don't like it, you're on your second job, you don't like it, you don't have a job and you really, really want one, take the time to explore, to learn these things. Go look at all these different job requirements, the jobs that you want, see what they all require, and learn about it enough to be able to talk with people. And second off, you know what you can do? You can say, jump into the Discord. Yes, there's 1,800 people actively online and about 5,700 members. That means if you have technologies that you're trying to figure out, things that you're working on, there is a programming section in which you can ask questions about. But what you really want is to be able to bounce your ideas off of, discuss things. You have to have people in your life, go to meetups, talk about technology, practice. And then moreover, find companies you don't really care about getting hired at and interview. Become good at it. Be able to practice the art of discussing your ideas in a situation which is just tossed on you. Because most of the time, interviewers are looking for someone that can discuss ideas and come to solutions. They're not necessarily always looking for someone that's gonna give them the most pristine answer in that moment. And they're often not looking for someone that knows all the technologies they've listed. So take the time, practice, do it. It's gonna be beneficial. I would highly recommend looking at life as a challenge, not as an inconvenience. To look at it as an adventure, not some sort of injustice or ill will towards yourself. And I strongly recommend that you hit that sub button, okay? Can you just hit it? And yes, I did subtly state at the beginning of this that I was streaming on Twitch, so you know, you can uh, jump in the section down below and follow the links! Ooh. My name's The Primogen.